Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mosley, and today I have a new video for you. So, if you watched my last video, you pretty much know why I'm having this hair. Um, yeah, and I'm shooting two of them in a row. It's because why not? Um, so, so um, I think my camera is a little bit crooked. You know, you know what? I can't really tell because I'm just not good at this. If it is crooked. I'm really sorry. I'm like trying my best to see if it is crooked or not. So today I'm gonna try out this Nickelodeon slime kit. It says make your own slime, and it's Nila and Glow. Um, so I have got this kit for pretty much three weeks now, and I haven't uploaded any single bit of video. So it's been lying on my desk for three weeks. Um, I want to make this video today just to um, see how it goes and see if I like it. I haven't made any uh, slimes for over a month now, um, so it's kind of be interesting to see how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna get a scissors right here. Um, I have my cute little scissors. I'm gonna open this up. So it's by Crazy Art, but it also working with Nickelodeon, so that's very interesting. I kind of don't know what I need, so I'm just gonna go through it away. And I'm putting everything out. Okay, the biggest thing says, Dear customer, we have improved this slime kit by putting clear glue in it instead of white glue. Thank you. This is the biggest thing to put in. So, oh, there it is. We improved by putting clear glue in it. So this is the clear glue. Um, it has a sheet of instruction. Of course, I'm gonna need this because I'm very, very stupid by, in the sense of making slime. Someone has commented on my video talking about like you need to know your slime, but actually, you know, like I'm not professional making these kind of videos. Like I says in every kind of video, I try out things. I don't know how to do anything at all. So this is another try out video. Uh, so getting started, find a clean surface to work on. I'm very clean. I have a surface. Protect your work surface with paper towel or newspaper before starting. Good idea. I'm getting some paper towels. And on the instruction, it says more stuff. It was basically direction for making slime. So I'm gonna try this out. Um, I'm gonna lower you down a little bit. Don't be afraid. You'll be fine. It's not a big deal if you're super afraid of height I'm very sorry um, I'm just trying to lower you down a little bit so you can see me working and putting you back a little bit okay now you can see everything um, so I have my all, all the things here uh, you might have noticed the, the table changed a little bit in my, it, it's because the the white table that I was using um, it turned very bended after I put hot stuff on it to Pacific my hot bowl of milks and stuff so um, yeah it turned super bended so I'm gonna change it to this desk so an instruction is already straight going um, so I'm gonna get the I assume this is the neon stuff since he doesn't say what it is and this I think is the colors uh, we got our clear slime glue and we got our slime activator so this is stupid people friendly I'm very happy and we got a little packet of these I'm gonna open that up um, we got a cute little spoon right here we got one measure cup so it has like measurements on it and we have two container. Um, we have three blending stick and two container lid. And this is pure trash. So uh, we are gonna use our blending bowl in here. Um, oh, there's actually two of them. Very nice, considering. I love that. Um, so here it says measure. Um, 15 millimeter of white glue using the supplied measuring cup and pour it into a bowl scrape down the walls of the cup to get as much of the glue as possible gotcha um, so we got a measure cup and a glue that's a little bit over 15 but I mean there's residues on 
So we're just gonna call it the residues. Okay, I've I've scraped the most that I can. There it is. And it says measure thirty millimeter of water. Pour it into the same bowl as the glue. Um, I'm gonna measure a little bit. Thirty millimeter, very precisely. I'm gonna put this into the glue. Nice. And it says make it fun. Choose your activator. Uh, choose your addictive. Go neon to make the color slime. And go glow or go glowing make glowing colors. I think I'm gonna make a glowing colors. Why not? So by mixing the glow colorant with neon colorant, you can make glowing colors. So we need to mix these two to make glowing colors. Make sure one tablespoon of tablespoon uh, one spoonful of glowing colorant and half spoon of neon colorant added to the bowl of glue. Okay, so I'm gonna do what exactly what it says. Here's the glowing colorant. So that's half spoon. Adding that in, beautiful. And I'm gonna make it pink, cause I want to do pink right now. So we, this is open. We're gonna have a full table. So that's one table, at uh, one spoon or one spoonful of the color. It says stir the mixture of glue color and additive additive with the slime stick until fully blended. So I'm getting rid of all the colors that or majority of the colors that left on the spoon. Okay, we're gonna set it aside and we're gonna just blend the thing up. And somehow it's a little bit sticky than I want it to be, but I think this is um, how it's gonna be for the texture. And we're just gonna use that. It says measure five millimeter, five milliliter of slime activator. Okay, that's about right. And we're gonna and slowly pour into the bowl with glue while stirring with the slime stick. It says always use the stick, do not use your hand. So if you are a kid and you're watching this video, you're under six, you're not supposed to play with this. And if you are over six, you're watching this video, please don't blend this with your hand. Not because it's just messy, also it's because it's kind of disgusting. Um, no, it's also because it's dangerous. Please don't do that. If it gets on your hand, simply wipe it on your paper towel. And be careful and do not get contact with your eyes because I think, I mean, although it doesn't say it's poisonous, I don't assume it's good for you. So I'm going to keep blending. It says, continue stirring until all the solution is absorbed and it gels up. Use your hands, remove slime from the ball to kneel, uh, to knead, and work until you achieve a stretchy and soft material. So I think this is what it's talking about, that we need to remove it from the bowl because this is literally what we're dealing with right now. So I'm going to remove, remove it from the bowl. can't talk. I, I cannot talk. I, today is not a day. I'm not going to put everything on a paper towel so we can. Okay, so we got a Google surface. So now I'm going to start kneading it because that's what it says on the instruction and I'm gonna and it says double the recipe to make a large amount of slime at one time always wash hands thoroughly after making and handling slime so if you have played with this sort of stuff you need to wash your hands I have to say I'm kind of impressed by the recipe because it's actually very similar to the one that we made earlier but like I don't know how to describe it. I used the word jiggly, but people weren't very happy about it. But I still think it's very jiggly. Like it's very gel-like. Like it says, it's it's very gel-like. 
I don't know, like, if you can tell. This is so, and it's not sticking on my hand at all, like, like, well, it sticks a little bit if you're, like, not careful, but, like, it's not, like, full-on dirt, it's, like, dirty and messy. Um, I have to say the whole making process is very clean, this is better than I expected, expected. Um, and also I do like the color, but I hope there are some more color options. But I mean, on the other hand, this kit is like what five ninety eight. I can't remember the price, but it's definitely not over ten dollars. It's definitely more cheap than the last uh, kit that we have. Um, I think it was five ninety eight. I got it in Walmart or something. So um, it's very affordable. It it did it its um. It's not the gooey, ooey gooey slime that it says on the instruction here. It says ooey gooey slime, but um, but it's definitely the kind of slime that actually I like. So um, I'm gonna see how if it like goes all the way down. Okay, so this is actually very nice. See, this is actually very nice. I think I added a little bit too much activator. You would really agree if I have like a little bit more this time. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside right now. Put it in a container. And we're gonna make another one. Um, for another one, I wanna make it, I wanna make it just glow in the dark. So we wanna, I wanna see how, what color it's gonna be. So we're gonna get use new bowl. Like the um, last instruction, we're gonna add 15 millimeters of waters um, of glue in it. it. It's a little bit gel up because we have the residue of the activator, but it's okay. And now I'm adding 30 millimeters of the water. And now I'm adding in the um, glow in the dark thing. So I'm gonna wipe down the spoon first because as you can see it's pretty purple right now. I don't want that pink purple or fusion color as you refer to in my next um, slime. So here I got a full tablespoon. So I pretty much cleaned the spoon. Very nice. I'm gonna um, just stir it real quick. Make sure um, it's well stirred. Okay, now I'm adding the activator. So the last time we added, we added five millimeter uh, milliliter of um, activator. So this time we're gonna do the same, but make sure we really stick on the number. It somehow looks like a live animal. It looks like a rabbit. And this really looks like something you can eat. But don't eat it. That's not good. I don't I don't think that's something you should eat. And this is what we come up so far. I think it's the exactly same consistency, but other than this is glow in the dark. Um I'm going to turn off all my lights real quick see if that's actually glowing in the dark. Okay, I don't know if the camera picked up on that at all, but um, in real life, I can really tell that's a part of it glowing in the dark, but surprisingly this doesn't glow in the dark at all. I didn't see any part of this, um, so now I'm gonna have the ultimate Experiment. I'm just gonna mixing the two that two of them together um, to see what we're gonna have. So I got the fusion one and the white one, and now this is ultimate mixing. And let's see what we get. I assume it's gonna be a lighter pink, sort of like that color, but I think this is darker than I expected. This is definitely darker than.
So now I'm going to test if this thing will be glowing in the dark. Be right back. I, th I think you can definitely pick up a little hint that is like slightly glowing in the dark. But I don't think it's full on glowing in the dark. Okay, as you can see, you can see a slight hint of this glow in the dark, but it glows as like a light green color, like a usual glow in the dark color instead of a glowing pink. Um, I have to say, I thought of this result will be like this. I mean, I I really don't didn't expect it would be like glow in the dark pink because that's not the kind of paint that we get in the paint pot. Um, Overall, I do somehow very enjoy this kit. Um, I think it's actually one of these recipes that really just don't give you much bothers. Um, it's easier to clean um, compared to some other ones I have tried. Um, not saying the last video I make. I do have purchased other kits and those are very, very annoying. I don't want to talk about it. Um, and the glue, since we have made two slimes so far, we still have like the majority of this. I would say you can't make, like if the same size as this current one, you can make like at least two of these. So that's a very good amount. And for talking about the activator, it's the same issue in here. I think you can definitely make two of these size of slime and for the paint pot we have still the red and the green that we haven't tried out today um yeah and i feel like it's also very good for them to give you a container but you definitely need to get more container and talking about a glow in the dark paint guess what this is how much we have left can you tell i wish you could tell but there's still half of it even though we have used a lot of these glow in the dark paint, we still have half of this paint bar, uh, paint pot. So I think that's definitely worth the money for you to try it. Um, and also, this is one of the easier ones that you can literally do it uh, as the instruction says. You won't have a big mess. Um, yeah, and it's also very, um, very affordable compared to the last one that I have tried so if you are one of those people who are trying to buy kids um, these kind of like kids product for your children or you're a kid that you want to try out some slime but you don't know where to start this is one of those that you can try out um, but I uh, so over, so overall, I do think this is a very good kit. It's definitely worth the money. So if you want to try this kit, you're very welcome to buy them yourselves and try them now later. So this is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it so far, and I'll see you next time. Bye.